the United States Custom and Border Protection harmonized the tariff schedule of the United States. Mr. Speaker, limestone is duty free. Limestone export, exported from the Bahamas. Mr. Speaker, from February 2019, February of last year, to June 2020, for some 16, the past 16 months, 119 individual shipments of limestone, including limestone sand, was identified. Ten vessels transported the limestones, which are owned by two shipping companies. The shipments went to 11 seaports. Collectively, four companies were the recipient of the limestone shipments. DP Aggregates Terminal, some 40,400,000 kilograms of limestone. DuPont, some 89,514,340 kilograms of limestone. Kinder Morgan Terminals, some 313,480,000 kilograms of limestone. Martin Marietta Aggregates Incorporated, some 3,735,809,900 kilograms of limestone shipped from the Bahamas, from Freeport Grand Bahama, to ports in the United States, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida, Panama City, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Port Manatee, Florida, Port Canaveral, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Carolina, Richmond, Petersburg, Virginia. Mr. Speaker, some 4,179,204,000 and the 200 and 40 kilograms of limestone shipped from Grand Bahama at $1.30, approximately $1.30, 31 cents per kilogram. Mr. Speaker, placing the value at approximately five and a half billion dollars, billion with a B, five billion. 474,757,554 billion with a B dollars shipped over the Bahamas to the United States of America. And they've been telling us, Mr. Speaker, that our natural resources have no value. Mr. Speaker, that's just the last 16 months from February of 2019 to June of 2020, almost five and a half billion dollars in limestone shipped out of our country. Mr. Speaker, how long has this been occurring in our country? Aragonite from Ocean Key, salt from Inagua, limestone from Grand Bahama, sand, but yet, Mr. Speaker, no sovereign wealth fund. In Grand Bahama, people are living in their vehicles, living on beaches, living with family members, living with friends. Many have to relocate. Partially, Mr. Speaker, because successive administrations have not seen the value and importance of a sovereign wealth fund. Can you imagine, Mr. Speaker, how beneficial that would be today in light of this current pandemic and what it's doing to our economy? Mr. Speaker, they are preparing to drill for oil that was postponed from March to May and now postponed from May to October or November later this year. 
14% royalties for the Bahamas. 14% royalties. Mr. Speaker, still no sovereign wealth fund. The economic disparity is just simply too great. The gap between the rich and the poor, the haves and the have-nots, is just simply too great, Mr. Speaker. One of the results of this pandemic is the new norm is forecasted to include joblessness or unemployment and poverty to another level. Mr. Speaker, the preamble of our Constitution says, whereas the people of the family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and rule of law. Mr. Speaker, industry refers to hard work, also to economic activity concerned with the processing of raw materials and manufacture of goods in factories. How come, Mr. Speaker, all the time they were mining aragonite on Ocean Key? Could have been an, an industry for us. Limestone. Could have been, can still be an industry for us. Salt. Could have been, can be an industry for us. Our fresh water could have been and can be an industry for us. Our pine forests can still be an industry, viable industries for us, Mr. Speaker, from our natural resources. And so, Mr. Speaker, I appeal to Bahamians to open their eyes and see what is happening right before us in broad daylight. We have no natural resources, value nothing. But yet, Mr. Speaker, in the last 16 months, we exported limestone from Freeport, Grand Bahama, to the value of five, approximately five and a half billion dollars. How much of that went to our treasury, Mr. Speaker? How much, Mr. Speaker? How has it affected, in a positive way, the people of Grand Bahama. How was it affected in a positive way Bahamians? And so, Mr. Speaker, this interest that's looming for Morgan's Bluff for North Andros. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I want, I want to speak up. As I said, Morgan's Bluff, Morgan's Bluff is in their view. They are aggressively pursuing Morgan's Bluff. And, and a part of it, a part of it, Mr. Speaker, as they stated in it, was for aggregates. But Mr. Speaker, also, Morgan's Bluff in the north, Mayor Gwan in the south, aggressively pursuing that also. Mr. Speaker, our people, we obviously are not aware of the value, the value of our resources, our natural resources. Chair sure recognizes Honorable Member Paul Kalani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I only want to put it on the record so it's not in the headline tomorrow, but Andres being sold and whatever. I can put it in bohemian terms. It ain't going to happen, all right? No aggregate there. It's not going to happen. Thank you, Honorable Member. Th thank, thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> what will be left for the average Bahamian, Mr. Speaker? And I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm thankful for, for, for the member for Kalani and his statement. But I must continue <laughs> in the same vein as him. What's at the rate what will be left for the average common Bahamian? Mr. Speaker, Proverbs 13 and 22 states, a good man leaves an inheritance, leaves equity for his children, children. Mr. Speaker, what will I have to leave behind? Mr. Speaker, what, 
will the residents of Golden Isles have to leave behind? Mr. Speaker, the residents of Golden Isles and ordinary common everyday Bahamian would like to own a piece of the rock also. So Mr. Speaker, to the average common everyday Bahamian, the poor, marginalized, underprivileged, locked out and feel boxed in, Mr. Speaker. You're listening to live coverage of the House of Assembly via the Parliamentary Channel. We'll rejoin coverage of the House of Assembly following the evening news. This is Edna's Radio, 1540 AM, 104.5 FM, the national voice of the Bahamas. The time is 6.30 and news is next over the Bahamas Radio Network. This is the Bahamas Radio Network. resources. Mr. Speaker, may Almighty God Yahweh Elohim continue to bless the commonwealth of the Bahamas. And oh, Mr. Speaker, make that wealth more common. Long live the commonwealth of the Bahamas. Thank you. 
Thank you, Honourable Member.